are Spring Flamingos, my name is Louise, I make new videos on a Monday and Thursday so do subscribe and today I'm going to be talking to you about my makeup bag. That everything's smashed, brilliant, great. <laughs> ago I made a video about all the things I keep in my makeup bag bag <laughs> bag vag no bag bag in my makeup bag and it was a really popular video so I thought I would show you uh, the updated version because the bag has changed and the contents um, and this bag was from Boots. it is as you can see black it has really nice um, zip opening with like a full flap which secures with zips on both sides and the velcro and it has two pockets at the front that secure with a little popper and then really sturdy handles and in here I keep all my generally used makeup so this isn't my everyday makeup I couldn't possibly get all of this makeup on my face that would be insane um, but it isn't all the makeup I own because that's in a chest of drawers in another room but since I don't have a dressing table or any storage in here at the moment I mostly just keep a whole load of it in here so I will go through if you like long show and tell videos with um, little to no structure you are in for a treat there's no like first second and third it's just what's in here is what's in here so the first thing that i've picked out is this cow shed pack um i really think it's handy so that when i go away i know i can just grab this rather than taking all my full size cleansers and toners and stuff and in here is um a cow shed lavender cleanser um, a toner, a moisturiser, a lip balm and a little washcloth and then also I've put in my um, contact lens pot because I wear contact lenses so it's got a little bit of solution in there um, and then in the back I've got some Panadol because if you watch my what's in my bag you know how I feel about having like medicine on me should I ever feel even slightly ill. A Tangle teaser, this is the travel size, I recently bought this because I lost my other one my bag was stolen in London which I still need to do a vlog on. I like this because it has a bottom which you can attach and detach and when you put it in you protect all your bristles so no matter where this like falls in your bag it's safe. A whole ton of brushes. I am in love with the Real Technique ones. I've got some Suiva ones. I've got some Lily England ones. Um, I've just got some Odds and Sod ones. Odds and Sods. A um, couple of MAC ones. So just a bunch of brushes. The um, You Glow Girl Soap and Glory Solar Powder. And this is a highlighter and bronzer. I use this sometimes. There's other ones in here that I use more regularly, but this is just kind of floating around. What's at the bottom? <gasps> oh my God, I feel like when the children found that wardrobe that went to Narnia, they thought it was just a wardrobe, but it wasn't. I thought this was just a powder. It's not. There's a secret compartment with a brush in that has never seen the light of day till now. This is more than just a haul video, this is a discovery video. This is the one that I use a lot, this is from Sephora and this is the Micro Smooth Trio, uh, Baked Sculpting, Sculpting Trio. And as you can see with your Les Yeux, it has a bronzer, blusher and highlighter and I use that bronzer as a contour because it doesn't have much shimmer in it. I'm wearing it today. The lighting is not the same as real life lighting so if I look like a clown, pretend that it's not my fault. Some moisturiser, I'm currently using the Lush Gorgeous Facial Moisturiser. I will say, this is incredibly expensive. It was like 42 pounds for a tiny pot. But when I open this and I smell it, I feel like, smell wise, I've gone to smell heaven. I want to smear this around my nostrils so that I can smell it all the live long day. I don't because that would be weird. A tiny little on the go pack of Q-tips or earbuds as we call them in the land of blighty. MAC soft and gentle mineralized skin finish. This is probably like the sixth one of these I've gone through. This is my all time favorite highlighter. It is soft and it is gentle and it's warm toned. I'm wearing highlighter today that is cool toned, which is this Sephora one, and I put a bit too much on this cheek and then I couldn't get it off, so I tried to balance it out. It's a bit like when you think you're not gonna do much eyeliner, but then you do one load, so you have you end up looking like Amy Winehouse. I've essentially done that with, with highlighter, but imagine I'm wearing this one. Some brow stuff, this is the Milani Brow Fix Kit. It comes with a dark brow thing, which is what I use, it's not that dark. Um, a lighter one and then a highlight which is incredible and then in here it has some tools 
Um, it has just a little tweezers, a smudgy and a brushy and a tiny mirror. This is just the most genius compact. It makes me feel like I've got like a Polly Pocket because Polly Pocket fitted a lot in. And so does that. A giant perfume. This is the Michael Kors Rose Gold and I freaking love it. I have the gold and also the silver but this by far is my favourite. Probably because I love rose gold but I think maybe the smell as well. I can't decide what swayed me more. A lipstick. A lipstick. A stick for my lips. This is Passionate um, from Lush and I like the Lush lipsticks a lot and also they're all cruelty free and whatnot. And this is a really really beautiful pink. It reminds me of the MAC Pro Colour Show Orchid. Does anyone remember that? If you do, you are old school. My all time favourite, very smudged. Um, for your, these bits. Eyes, eyelids, eyelid colour, eyeshadow, an eyeshadow palette by Stila and it's just beautiful. It's the In The Night palette. Um, I picked it up in Sephora. It's really hard to find in England and I just love, love, love it. A very dirty, because I'm a disgusting human, um, beauty blender. This is the Real Techniques one and it's my favorite. I've tried quite a few beauty blenders. Nice, that was smooth. I've tried quite a few beauty I've tried quite a few beauty blenders in my time, but this is my favourite one. MAC Studio Fix Plus. Buy a tiny bottle of this if you're going to. Unless you're a makeup artist or you're doing incredibly like full on makeup every day or your face is the size of Jupiter, you don't need a full size one. This has lasted me absolutely ages. The tiniest, tiniest, tiniest primer. This is Pore Professional by Benefit, which I love. Now I did love my Tarte one more, but it was in the stolen bag, which has made me sad. The L'Oreal Super Liner Ultra Precision. This is my favourite liquid liner. I flip flop between eyeliners, but I always come back to this one. Plus, I like to do this with it. Yeah, sound sensitive. If I'm sound sensitive, so everything sounds too loud, but this is very pleasing to me. A MAC lipstick, it is in Pink Pearl Pop. It's a cream sheen and it is just this beautiful pink colour. Oh, this is kind of gross. So, <laughs> I needed an eyebrow setting gel, and so which is just basically clear mascara, so I just bought clear mascara, but I've been using it a while, and it's mixed with all the colour of my eyebrow stuff, so it just sort of looks like dirty, gross gunk in a tube. Mmm, yummy. Some Rimmel London Stay Matte. I use this to set my foundation if I can be bothered, which is not very often, but on like nights out and stuff when I want to look like beautiful, um, I'll put my foundation on and then I'll like set it with that because I, oh no. Okay, there's been an accident in the bag. Not to worry, we'll brush past it. Two foundations. I'm currently really enjoying the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation. I use the shade True Ivory because I'm wearing fake tan a little bit at the moment. Um, and for some reason I've got the Bourjois Healthy Mix in there. I think I couldn't find my True Ivory so I was using that for a day. But I find that to be a little thin. If you want like barely any coverage, this is the one for you. And this is a nice medium coverage. And then if I want a full coverage, I'll go for Max Studio Sculpt. So something has leaked in the bag but we'll get to that in a minute. This is my favourite ever lip balm. I got sent one of these and then I used it all up and bought another one, but this is the By Terry Balm de Rose. I love it and I, this is a miracle that I love this because I don't like things that you have to dip your fingers in because I don't want to dip my finger into somewhere like a little moist little pocket and then wipe it around my mouth. It makes me feel like very uncomfortable. It smells fresh too, it smells like clean old ladies but in a good way like in a oh I love my grandma way but I love that it has a tiny tiny bit of sheeny pearly colour so you could wear this sans anything else if you wanted to and it makes your lips feel incredible very kissable next up from soap and glory it's the one heck of a blot super translucent mattifying powder this is my favourite one I prefer it over the rimmel one so I tend to go for this first and also it's great on the go because it has a little mirror 
and a, a puffy to do it with. Um, but I like this because it doesn't really have any colour, obviously it's translucent and it just makes every makes your makeup stay a bit longer, I think. A mascara, this is covered in glitter, there's been a glitter explosion in here, of course there has. Of course there is a sprinkle of glitter in my makeup bag, but it really bothers me, I need to get a wet wipe on this because I can't bear things to have stuff all over them. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, I did just make a sex joke but I've decided to edit it out because Oh, it's, it's maybe not suitable. Um, it's a great mascara, is what I'll say there. Another mascara is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Another fabulous mascara, I love this a lot. Another mascara, because who, who just needs the one? This is from Tarte, they sent it to me to try, and it's the gifted one, and it's um, Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. It's in a, a wooden bamboo tube. I haven't really had a good enough play with this to decide what I think of it. This is the Tarte Brown Clay Pot for eyeliner. I don't use it for eyeliner. I just dip my ring finger in it and I pat it on my eyelid very gently to make a base because I feel like my eyeshadow sticks on so much better. Like you can see the colors of the eyeshadow a lot more uh, prominently when I use a little base. So I'm just using that in the moment. Some concealer, this is the Collection Lasting Perfection in shade two. It's brilliant. Don't spend any money on any other concealers, just go and get that one. Okay, we're getting to the, the bottom. These are a whole, well that's a pen from the Hilton, that doesn't need to be in there. These are a whole chunk of eyeliners um, and eyeshadow pens from a brand called Kiko. They sent me a ton of stuff in my peer box, so I've played with them on my hand and think they're interesting. So they've made it into the makeup bags to be played with. But let me know what you think of the Kiko brand. I've heard good things about them, so I'm excited to get to know these a little better. A couple of lip crayons, both in similar colours actually, maybe the same colour from Tarte, this like nudie colour is what I'm wearing at the moment. Um, they're literally just, oh, well, it just fell out. Just pop that back in. They smell minty, they're literally just crayons, and this is the travel version, which is cute. Cute. A Milani eyeliner felt tip in brown, but I don't use it for my eyeliner, I use it if I want to do freckles, which I'll be starting to do now that the sun is coming out a bit more. A very old Topshop eyeliner, I don't even know if they still do these. It's a lip pencil. <laughs> I meant lip liner. Lip liner, you know, not for these, for this one. Pink, great. A MAC lip liner in Ruby Woo, it's red. A MAC lip liner in nice and spicy, which is what I'm wearing at the moment, which is a sort of dark nude. A lippy sticky from, where are you from? Laura Mercier. That was a little PO box goodie. Thanks, Laura. <laughs> in pink, um, get back on there. A sample of foundation from an airport. The Phar Pharmacy Physician's Formula eyeliner in brown and I also have a black one in here somewhere. These are excellent. I buy them in America and they're very creamy coal liners. I like them a lot. Um, a mystery eyeliner. I don't even know what this one is or where that came from. A coal one from Bourgeois. Bourgeois is like a crappy nightclub in Northampton. Not that I would know. Huh? This one, it looks like a lipstick, but it's not a lipstick. It's a trick. It's in disguise. It is trying to fool me and it will not win. A very lovely red lipstick I don't know, maybe it's Maybelline, I'm not sure. <laughs> maybe it's Maybelline, brilliant. In 470, Red Revolution. Ooh. <laughs> okay, that one. And then finally, in the big bag, in the big section of the bag, is Benefit Highbrow. And I have been using that to highlight my brows, so perhaps I'll do a, like a get ready with me and show you. And then we will move on to the little pockets. This little pocket has glitter in. I have to keep it in a little pocket because this little friend here leaks. Naughty. Um, this is MAC Glitter um, in shade Reflex Black and Red. Basically it's brown. And then I have this stuff which is Mixing Medium which I put on before I put on the glitter to sort of make it stick. This is MAC Glitter in like black with silver. And then I also have this one which reflects like pinky mint. Um, that is an expensive glitter habit. And then I've got this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art that I bought in America. But I don't like it. It's a bit sticky and wet and it feels like you're like wiping cold dog spit over your eyes. And then in this pocket, this is my like maintenance stuff. So I've got 
pseudo creme. I just need to know where that is because sometimes Darcy wants it. Um, a couple of panty liners, that's nice. Some tiny, tiny scissors. These scissors, I'm telling you, are handy AF. A Muji pencil sharpener for sharpening pencils, obviously. Some tweezers and some hair ties a lot of hair ties and some Kirby grips and that is it that is what is in my makeup bag 2016 edition except I might do one at the end of the year I'm not sure I hope you enjoyed that I know how to put everything back um let me know if you use any of the same stuff as me and I will see you on Thursday for another fabulous haul style video thanks for watching bye subscribe bye packing it all up one day I just thought why don't I just keep it in this Duh, it was like having an epiphany. I was like, yeah, keep your makeup in a makeup bag. That seems like a brilliant idea. So that's what I do. And dare I say it, it's changed my life. It really has. I'm no longer like drowning in stuff. I'm no longer doing this, trying to find mascaras. I just open this, dip it all